Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Caitlin with Ormond Arms and today we are going to discuss one of the most asked questions that we get from our customers and that is what are ghost guns? So today we have a special guest, Frank Johnson. He is a former U.S. Marine and gunsmith. So welcome Frank, thank you for being here. Thank you Caitlin, thanks for having me. Yes, ghost guns is a hot topic right now as to what are they, what constitutes as a ghost gun. Well, the issue that is out there right now as a ghost gun is more of a uh, slang term. There's no real technical term of a ghost gun. What people are using as a ghost gun, or what they're referring to as a gun without serial numbers, and it's very specific. A serial number on what would be a gun, for example, if this was machined, this is a 1911 80% uh, frame, meaning this is not a gun by law, but if it was machined out, and I did not put serial numbers on it, that's what they're referring to as a ghost gun. Now, if this was an actual gun, and it was manufactured by one of the big names that had a serial number, and I removed the serial numbers, that would, be not, that would not be a ghost gun. That would be a criminal offense. A ghost gun is a gun that you make for yourself, for your personal use, and you're not required to put a serial number. Uh, ghost guns are, uh, like I said, a slang term. And usually a lot of people are referring to the AR-15 platform, actually this is a DPMS uh, lower platform, but a 80% frame is anything from a 1911. This is a P80 which is compatible with the Glock 19 and Glock 23. These are 80% complete. And this is what are referred to as ghost guns because when complete, there's no serial number identifying them, nor is there any government uh, registration of them ever existing. So a ghost gun and an 80 percenter are not one in the same. Places like California would require that if you machine this and complete it, you are required as the individual to serialize it. As well, I believe Ormond Arms is selling uh, these 80 percenters. They have them in uh, packs of what, five? Packs of five. Packs of five. Those. And very good prices. Um, obviously they don't come with this logo. That logo is because this is actually one of my lowers that I've machined out using one of the tools that you'll use on one of your 80 percenters. So there's a lot of things out that you can do. The engraving, if you want to engrave it, um, that's one of the things that most people have been asking about is engraving online. And speaking of ghost guns, I personally put this on here for identification of my firearm don't need a serial number, I'm a private individual. So speaking to an ATF agent uh, earlier this year, one of the questions that came up was, what if my gun gets stolen? I'm not talking what the criminals do with the gun, but how do I recover my firearm? If the gun is recovered, how does the ATF, the FBI, the local police, the sheriff's department know that it was mine if I don't have a serial number on it or identifying mark? So this identifying mark is on all my guns. It's an image that we've chosen for our family and I'm able to do that on this machine. So the smart thing to do is avoid ghost guns. Identify your weapon, that's your property. If your car doesn't have a serial number, somebody steals it, how do we know that's your car? So I try to avoid the idea and concept of that my firearms are ghost guns. I want them identified mm -hmm. to recover them if they're stolen. Yeah. Does that answer? It does, yes, great, it great. does, thank you, thank you. So if you have any more questions, you can go to ar15forum.com and post your questions there, become a member, subscribe to that. You can also email Caitlin at ormanarms.com, that's ormanarms, one word, or you can comment below and we'll get back to you on any of those questions that you have. Uh, but keep your eyes open, uh, Caitlin and I will be having further videos regarding how to assemble your ARs, as al along with building the 1911, the P80s, as well as how to use the Ghost Gunner and using other jigs that go with the Ghost Gunner. Um, along with uh, jigs like this that you can buy that are hand done, where you're gonna drill and use a drill press and where other equipment is involved. So a lot of the tools you see here will be covered in the videos uh, to come with Caitlin and I. Caitlin. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.